This video was sponsored by the Nick Morn Foundation. What will the cities of the future look like? By 2050, the world's population is expected to reach 9.8 billion, and nearly 70% of these people are expected to live in urban areas. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at some of the most sustainable cities which are currently under construction. From smart, high-tech cities to forest cities, we will be taking a closer look at what urban life is going to be like in 2050. The world's first forest city, created to fight pollution, is now under construction in Luzhou, China. It has been designed by Stefano Boeri architects, who have been developing green projects all around the world. The futuristic forest city will be home to a community of about 30,000 people. It will be covered in greenery, including nearly 1 million plants and 40,000 trees that together absorb almost 10,000 tons of carbon dioxide. As a result, the forest city will help to decrease the average air temperature, improve local air quality, create noise barriers, nurture habitats, and improve local biodiversity in the region. Similarly, in Malaysia, a forest city has already completed its first phase of construction. The project is planned to be completed in 2030. It is said to cost $100 billion and will house 700,000 people. The plan is for the project to be a green oasis that uses the latest green and sustainable technology. However, the city is being placed in a region of mangrove forests, which are incredibly important for infant sea life. The developers are planning to combat these issues by planting a 250 hectare seagrass plantation and 9 kilometers of mangroves. Now over in the United Arab Emirates, a project called the Sustainable City has already been built. The 5 million square foot sustainable city is designed to be a net zero development and has the potential to go off grid. The city has 500 homes, all powered by solar panels. All water is recycled on site, there are no cars, and the complex grows its own vegetables in 11 biome greenhouses. Also in the UAE is the Mazdar city which is set to be completed in 2025. The city developers have aspirations for this to be the most sustainable city on earth. The city was designed to be zero carbon and zero waste, home to a population of 40,000 people with an additional 50,000 commuters in an area of only six square kilometers. The city remains around 15 degrees Celsius cooler than the surrounding area because the streets and buildings of Mazdar city are specially designed to be in line with the traditional Arab design, which uses natural materials to deflect the scorching desert sun. This self-sufficient project close to Beijing has recently been designed by Guayart Architects. The buildings in the city are to be constructed entirely from timber and are designed to use 80% less energy than traditional buildings by utilising solar panels, natural ventilation and green roofs for insulation. The architects even incorporated greenhouses for growing food. Architecture firm B.R. Kingles Group has designed a concept for a floating city of 10,000 people that could help populations threatened by extreme weather events and rising sea levels. It is called the Oceanic City, and the concept consists of buoyant islands clustered together in groups of six to form villages. Oceanic City is intended to provide a habitable, offshore environment in the event of rising sea levels, which are expected to affect 90% of the world's coastal cities by 2050. In 2018, work began on a new city in the Philippines that is intended to be pollution-free and resilient to natural disasters. The new Clark City is still being constructed, about 100 kilometers north of the capital, Manila. This city is being built as a backup city from where the government can still function should capital city Manila succumb to a natural disaster such as an earthquake, typhoon, or flooding. Plans to make the city pollution-free include using green energy and constructing buildings that consume very little energy. The first phase of development is estimated to be complete in 2022. The city of Amaravati in India is being built with the goal of becoming one of the most sustainable cities in the world. The architects, Foster and Partners, want at least 60% of the city to be covered in greenery or water. Its estimated completion date is 2025. Solar energy will power every building in Amaravati, while the transport system will include electric cars and water taxis. Over to China now, where they have designed an entirely car-free city. 
The city will be built on a stretch of reclaimed land by Pearl River and will be connected to the rest of Shenzhen by bridges, ferries and subway. The developer, American firm NBBJ, says it will accommodate 80,000 people and take around seven years to complete. Once in the city, commuters and visitors alike will traverse Net City on foot or by bicycle. Which was your favorite city from this video? Let us know in the comments below and please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. What is going to happen in the cities that have already been built? Well, if you want to learn more about this, then you should take a look at this video, which we did on the current most sustainable cities.